Bam Bam. So today we're going to be doing a video all about how I DIY'd my sneakers and my Timberland boots. So what I did was I found a pair of Timberlands on offer up for like hella cheap and then I painted them and added sparkles. This is a great trick for you guys. If you like a style of shoe but it doesn't come in a color that you want, you can totally paint the shoe yourself. Oh yeah, and while you're at it, why don't you just um, subscribles and follow my Instagram at Sienna Spalding. Thanks, fam bam, love you. Okay, so these are the sneakers that we are going to be painting turquoise, and then I'll probably get turquoise laces for them as well. So first things first, we have to take the laces off, and then I'm gonna set up my paints. Okay, and then I'm going to use baby wipes, clean them off because I don't want to be painting over dirt. It's Angelus brand acrylic leather paint. It's supposed to be good for shoes, so I've never tried this before, but we're just gonna attempt it today. Three different tones of turquoises, so I'm gonna do like the different areas on the shoe. Like this will be one color, another color, another color like that, so It'll be fun and funky with multiple tones of turquoise. Ooh, the bottoms are dirty, don't look at that. But I'm gonna do the darkest turquoise on the rubber part on the base because hopefully, you know, when it gets dirty, it won't show as much on the darkest. So opened it up and didn't know that there was little brushes inside. That's pretty cool. And it got all over me. So now I have to go wipe this off first before I get started. Okay, so let's just see. Ooh. Well, that's beautiful. It's a great color. All right, this is our progress so far. Looking pretty good. I think I might have to do a second coat though because you see how you can see some streaks. Okay, we're doing pretty good so far. I ended up doing two-tone, just a two-tone. We're probably, this one I didn't use. I felt like it was too similar to that one. And it's looking pretty good. The next thing I have to do is seal it. So I'm gonna use Mod Podge. I think I'm gonna put gloss on the whole shoe and then I'm gonna put matte on the rubber part on the bottom. I'm gonna let these dry overnight before I do this part. All right, this is the next pair of boots that I am going to be working on. I wanna make them completely red. So we're going in with chili red. Start by taking out the laces and just get to painting. Okay, so this is how they're coming out so far. I'm sorry I couldn't film while I was doing this. I just forgot. <laughs> I'll be honest, I forgot. So what I did was I put down a layer of the Mod Podge on the places that I wanted the glitter. And then I literally just sprinkled the glitter, just like when you're a little kid. I sprinkled the glitter all over and that's it. And then I'm going to put another layer of the Mod Podge, actually probably like two to three layers of this Mod Podge, over the sparkles like and let it dry in between each layer okay so i just put the mod podge all over it you can see it's all white and gooey looking so yeah that's gonna dry and it's gonna be completely clear and then um, i'm just touching up this little area so i took the sponge and i just kind of patted some more mod podge on there for the glue and then you just dust the sprinkles on there. I don't know why I just called them sprinkles, sparkles. <laughs> just those sprinkles on and then you can like pat it down if you want, just a smidge. Don't press too hard because the shit is fickle. Okay, so this is how much Mod Podge you wanna put afterwards so that it is a thick layer and holds all the sparkles on mistake of doing the touch-ups on these boots too close to this and now I got sparkles on the wet Mod Podge picking off each individual sparkle with the tweezers can you believe this shit <sighs> stupid okay so this is the final product I got some ribbon laces to go on them they look amazing I'm obsessed only thing you should know because I have worn these only thing is when you walk, it kind of like creates a crease. So the glue did come off and like it's, do you see how this is like chipping off like that? It is coming off because when you walk, it bends the shoe like that. So I don't know if maybe I needed to do a thinner coat or something, but 
look, it just like, it came off, but it's really thick. But luckily, because there's red paint underneath, it's not that big of a deal, and from a distance, you can't really tell, but I will probably go in and do retouches on those, but other than that, I mean, it's my first time doing it, so you kind of live and you learn, but they look fucking fire. I'm not mad at it. So I think it was a success. Yay. Okay. Love you guys, and I'll see you in my next video real soon. Bye.